Welcome back to Tennis Talk. My name's Cam Williams, and the WTA Finals have just gotten underway with the lack of crowd being the biggest story of the first day or so. We had a lot of good matches on, but it seems to be the crowd, or the lack thereof, that is the biggest story. Also, the ticket prices being so low. Let's go have a look at the ticket prices for the WTA Finals over the next few days. So having a look at this graph here, you can see there on Tuesday, the 1st of November, so day two of the tournament, you can get tickets for as low as $6 each for almost courtside tickets, which is insane because we're talking about the top players in the world, the top eight players of the season, and you can get up close and personal for less than $10. So the question is, why can't the WTA get anyone coming to the finals? This is what Darren had to say over on Twitter. I feel really sorry for the players. The end of year finale and hardly anyone turned up to watch. This is what Amanda said. Tennis isn't as popular in Texas. It's all about football, college, and professional. Add in NBA season and the World Series, and tennis takes a back seat to all of it. Tennis doesn't have the popularity in Texas. Coco is popular, but not Serena and Venus popular in the States. And also, Kathy said, once the advertisement reaches the fans next month, it'll be over. I blame the marketing. So there you have it. That is a couple of your responses over on Twitter. Go follow us on Twitter if you haven't already. There's a link down below to that. Hopefully, it picks up later in the week because last year in Guadalajara, it was a smash hit. There was packed out crowds. The atmosphere was electric. But the first couple of days, it's felt a little bit quiet. Now, we did have, of course, uh, weekday events. I guess, like, you know, 5 p.m. starts. Maybe there's something to do with the weekday being a work week. Maybe that's why. Or maybe just Texas is not a place where tennis is very popular. Maybe it's not a tennis set, a state. Maybe they should have played in California or maybe in New York. Or maybe they should have gone back to Guadalajara, which was such a smash hit. But again, let me know down in the comments below, what do you think is the reasoning behind the lack of people going to the WTA Finals this year, even though the tickets are so cheap?